China is projected to surpass the United States to become the world's largest air transport market by passenger traffic in the early 2030s. That means in the coming years, this market will need a massive number of aircraft, especially wide bodies, possibly up to several thousand. However, amid all that growth, Boeing is facing a serious threat, the potential loss of its 787 Dreamliner market share in China. But why is that? Which aircraft is threatening the 787 in this market? Let's find out. This story begins with fear the fear of being isolated in the skies. When Russia first occupied Crimea and parts of eastern Ukraine, international sanctions quickly took effect. Moscow fell into a desperate situation encircled cut off from its supply chains and most critically blocked from accessing modern wide-body aircraft such as the Boeing 777 and Airbus A330. For a nation heavily reliant on trade and air transport, it was nothing short of a fatal blow. Vital international routes slowly ground to a halt, and Russia's civil aviation stood on the brink of collapse. A dangerous void emerged a logistical black hole between East and West. However, that crisis became the perfect opportunity. At a secret facility in China, a bold plan quietly began to take shape, the joint CR-929 program, now known as the C-929. But this was no ordinary aviation project. It was the Lifeline Project, a $2 billion survival effort between two great powers under mounting pressure from the United States and the West, who sought to isolate them, weaken them, and eventually push them into decline. Accordingly, China would provide the funding and industrial muscle, and Russia would contribute its aerospace expertise and aerodynamic know-how. Their shared goal is to create a 280-seat jet that could rival even challenge the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350. On paper, it looked like the perfect alliance, but in reality, this alliance gradually began to reveal its internal conflicts. By 2021, as the war in Ukraine erupted, the entire partnership began to unravel. A year later, Russia officially withdrew from the joint venture, throwing the C-929 program into chaos and uncertainty. Sources claim that Russian aerospace engineers had been reassigned to military projects, effectively freezing the civilian program. However, rumors spread that China had demanded full ownership of the engine technology, a demand Moscow flatly refused. And just like that, this political-technical alliance collapsed. Left alone behind, with everything unfinished, Comac was forced to carry everything on its shoulders. This, in turn, has led to skepticism. What can China actually do without Russia's support? Surprisingly, to answer that very question, on February 24th, Comac shocked the entire global aviation industry by announcing that the C-929 had entered its flight testing phase, and even more astonishingly, that its entire design was developed based on China's independent intellectual property. Even before completing its tests, this mysterious aircraft had already received its first order from Air China. But do you know what's the most intriguing part? Air China's executives claim they had special reasons for placing an early bet on the C-929 reasons that if revealed might make you see China's aviation industry in an entirely different light. By the way, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. We know you're going to love what's coming next. When the first technical details of the C-929 were revealed, the world's perception shifted almost instantly. It became clear that this wasn't just a larger C-919. Beneath its metallic skin was something far more ambitious, a true wide-body jet purpose-built for ultra-long-haul routes such as Beijing, New York, or Shanghai, London. With seating for 280 passengers and an impressive range of 12,000 kilometers, this aircraft didn't just outgrow its smaller sibling, it boldly stepped into the same arena as the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and the Airbus A350. But what truly caught the attention of aviation analysts was its materials and performance. The C929 is built using over 50% carbon fiber composite materials, four times the 12% used on the C919, matching the standards of the 787 and A350. Combined with 15% titanium alloys, the airframe achieves a structure that is both lighter and stronger, enhancing aerodynamic efficiency while reducing overall weight. The result? Higher fuel efficiency, lower emissions, and one of the most environmentally friendly wide-body aircraft ever designed. Its blend of strength and lightness allows the C929 to achieve a stunning 12,000-kilometer range, enabling non-stop connections between cities separated by half the planet, a feat that firmly places it among the world's elite long-range airliners. But not efficiency. Its design is equally impressive, elegant, purposeful, and unapologetically bold. With a wingspan of nearly 65 meters, this Chinese wide-body aircraft even surpasses the Dreamliners requiring an exceptionally sophisticated aerodynamic profile to maintain the balance between lift stability and fuel efficiency. Inside the aircraft's 5.5-meter-wide cabin outmatches the 787's 5.28 meters and the A350's 5.34 meters, 
offering noticeably more space and comfort on long-haul journeys. This wider cabin means broader seats, wider aisles, and a more open, breathable atmosphere, a welcome relief on 15-hour intercontinental flights where comfort defines the experience. Yet Comac didn't stop at passenger comfort. The aircraft also features a fully digital cockpit and intelligent lighting system and a flexible cabin configuration designed to optimize safety efficiency and in-flight experience. Even its manufacturing process is a technological marvel over two. Two million individual components, three 500 completed test assemblies, and a real-time health monitoring system capable of diagnosing malfunctions mid-flight, a feature still missing from many Western aircraft today. Taken together, these innovations make the C929 far more than just another airplane. It is a statement, a declaration from China's aviation industry, that it has entered a new era. A symbol of pride, ambition, and technological confidence, and a clear message to the world Shanghai is ready to compete head-to-head -head with the aerospace giants of the West. Indeed, beyond its technological excellence, Air China underscored the aircraft's strategic and patriotic significance when it became the launch customer. Air China is the only national flag carrier of China, and adopting a domestically produced wide-body aircraft represents both our responsibility and our commitment to that role the airline stated. By integrating the wide-body jetliner into its fleet air, China isn't just taking a step toward becoming a world-class airline, it's helping to drive China's broader goal of high-quality, self-reliant growth in aviation. In many ways, the C929 isn't merely an airplane, it's China's bold challenge to the skies. Despite its remarkable progress, the C929 continues to face skepticism. Can it truly be called a made-in-China aircraft? That skepticism isn't unfounded. While Comac has long emphasized self-reliance and technological independence, the reality is far more complex. According to recent reports, this ambitious wide-body jet continues to rely heavily on Western technology. As noted by the South China Morning Post, Comac has signed multiple agreements with foreign suppliers, including a partnership with France's Safran, to co-develop critical systems such as braking and oxygen control, as well as contracts with the U.S.-based Crane Aerospace and Electronics for cabin door sensors. In fact, of the nine key avionics suppliers, only four are Chinese, with the rest coming from overseas. On one hand, this dependency offers clear short-term advantages. By integrating proven Western components, Comac can enhance reliability, speed up development, and align with international safety standards, all essential for earning certification from EASA and the FAA, and for building credibility with global airlines. Yet the other side of this reliance tells a more troubling story. The experience with the C919 serves as a warning dependence on Western systems, leaves the Chinese aircraft vulnerable to geopolitical pressures and export sanctions, placing its fate partly in foreign hands. A single policy shift or trade restriction could disrupt production delay deliveries and undermine Shanghai's message of technological sovereignty, the very narrative COMAC has worked tirelessly to change. More importantly, without full intellectual property ownership of its core systems, the aircraft cannot truly be considered a completely Chinese aircraft. Instead, it stands as a hybrid part Chinese part Western. Worse still, it risks being perceived as merely a derivative of Western designs, much like the C919 once was. So while the C929 represents China's rising ambition in global aviation, the road toward genuine independence and toward Shanghai's dream of becoming a true aerospace powerhouse remains long, uncertain, and fraught with challenges. But all those doubts may soon vanish, and here's why. In one bold stroke and a revolutionary twist forward, Comac has effectively silenced concerns about its reliance on Western components. For years, that dependence was the fatal flaw of Shanghai's aerospace dream. When Western nations tightened export controls, they choked the supply of vital parts for the C919, a jet that was 60% domestically made but still powered by an American-French engine. Yet with the C929, Shanghai has made a game-changing move to eliminate that vulnerability once and for all, taking command of every critical technology from the airframe to the core of the power itself, the engine. The core of the power is the CJ2000, China's first homegrown high-bypass turbofan engine and a breathtaking symbol of technological awakening. This is far more than a replacement for a Western design. It's a declaration of capability engineered to rival and possibly surpass the world's greatest engines. Originally conceived for the C919, but delayed over stability and certification challenges, the CJ2000 now returns with renewed mission aboard the C929. Its flight tests are slated for 2029. If these trials succeed, Shanghai will cross a historic threshold achieving full independence from Western propulsion technology, a feat that even Japan and Russia have long sought but hard or never fully attained. Technically, the CJ2000 is a marvel of modern engineering. 
It produces up to 35 tons of thrust on par with giants like the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 and General Electric GENX while delivering extraordinary efficiency. Its use of next-generation materials and advanced cooling systems enables hotter operating temperatures and lower fuel burn, achieving a 5-7% to fuel efficiency gain over its Western rivals. For airlines, that means lower operating costs. For passengers, it means a quieter, smoother, cleaner ride across oceans. Physically, the CJ2000 is colossal with a 3-meter fan diameter and a total height of 4.55 meters. It even exceeds the mighty 33-ton GENX that powers Boeing's 787 Dreamliner. Its composite fan blades and innovative noise reduction design make it not just powerful, but whisper quiet, dramatically reducing cabin noise and vibration. And that's not all. At cruising altitude, the engine's fuel consumption outperforms many international competitors, giving it a decisive edge in efficiency and long-range endurance. Reaching speeds up to 980 km per hour, the CJ2000 fuses raw strength with refined precision, a harmony of power speed and silence that redefines what a Chinese-made engine can achieve. For Comac, this marks both a strategic and symbolic triumph. The CJ2000 elevates the C929 from a promising newcomer into a fully self-reliant global challenger. It shatters the old belief that China must lean on foreign innovation for its core technologies. Even Western observers now concede the C929 is a true rival to Boeing and Airbus, and the CJ2000 may be the engine that finally shifts the balance of power in the skies. Nothing beats a nation determined to succeed under constant pressure, especially one as powerful and resourceful as China, a country equipped with everything it needs for comprehensive development. After all, if the C929 succeeds, it could become the biggest disruption to the wide-body market in decades. With its long-range, high-efficiency and breakthrough domestic engine, this aircraft stands poised to challenge the dominance of Western giants, especially Boeing's 787 Dreamliner, the very model it was designed to rival. For airlines seeking alternatives amid rising costs and political tensions, a competitive Chinese option could be transformative. And if Comac manages to deliver on performance reliability and certification, the C929 may not only win domestic loyalty, but also carve out a share of the global market signaling that the age of Western monopoly in wide-body aviation might finally be nearing its end.